Clark, tell me the story. I'm tired, Batty. Why don't you tell it to me this time? Me? Really? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a castle in the sky. The people who lived there were scared of the ground below. But the castle was dying, so they decided to send the bad children down to the scary place to see if they could survive. In the beginning, there were a hundred of them. A hundred and one, counting Bellamy. A hundred and one, right. Anyway, they were alone with no parents, so they did whatever the hell they wanted. Then, the monsters came out. We're not alone. Some of them killed the children. Some took the children away to steal their bones. One even stole their minds. But the bad children fought back. And they realize that together, even bad children can do good things. Who you are and who you need to be to survive are very different things. They even began to see that some of the monsters were just like them. I swear fealty to you, Clark comes Kaiku. This is our home now. We built this from nothing with our bare hands. We are grounders. But when the parents came down to find their children, they did not understand this. This land is ours now. Resist, and you will be greeted by death. They just made things worse. The hundred fought for their land. They fought for their friends. Sometimes, they fought against their own families. They tried to be the good guys, but then they realized there are no good guys. And that they weren't children anymore. Stop. You may be the chancellor, but I'm in charge. But it didn't matter. After all they did to survive, it turned out that the scary place was haunted by a monster they could not kill. Clark, you are not acting like someone who just saved the world. Because we did it. So they ran, and they found a place that could save them. There might be a fallout shelter built to sustain thousands. But they couldn't figure out how to share it until a hero rose from the ashes to unite them all. Octavia comes sky crew is victorious. We are equal. We are one clan, and we will survive prime fire. In the end, when the unkillable monster finally came, not everyone made it inside. This is how we save our people. Jasper, I love you. Eight warriors were forced to face the monster alone. Raven, we need you to get us off the ground before the death wave hits. What do you say? I say that death wave can kiss my ass. You've got such a big heart, Bellamy. If anything happens to me, nothing is happening to you. They fought like they never fought before, but it wasn't enough. I go play down. Until one of the eight, the bravest and fairest of them all, climbed the highest tower and cast a spell, sending their friends back to the sky. May we meet again? Just as the monster roared in. <laughs> if she had to die to save them, then she would die. But she didn't, because she had magic blood. Only now, she was alone. Everyone she loved or cared about was gone, trapped under the ground, or lost in the sky. She thought she was the last person in the world, but she was wrong. 
she found another. The most badass, correction, second most badass warrior on Earth. And they lived happily ever after. Good story, Maddie. Clark, what happens if the monsters come back? Then I'll kill them all.